And the answer from Jadon Sancho was public, was strong, because Sancho, with a statement on Twitter, uh, replied by saying that there were different reasons, that his attitude is always the best, that he's always fighting for Man United. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Fabrizio Romano here as always to keep you posted on the transfer market. Today, important news on Jadon Sancho, what's going on with Manchester United, so let's update on that one. Also important news on Qatari market and European market, there is one more deal and things happening around Chelsea with a player for the future, Kendry Piles. Let's jump into it together. <music> And so guys, the news of the day is about Jadon Sancho. It's a breaking important news because a couple of days ago I told you, yes, Jadon Sancho deleted that post on social media about Eric Ten Hag, about what happened after the Arsenal game, but nothing is resolved yet between Sancho and United. They still have to discuss and so it doesn't mean that the situation is clarified. And today we have the official position from Manchester United on Jadon Sancho with an important and strong message. Man United statement guarantees that Jadon Sancho is not training with the squad now and he's away from the squad while they try to resolve the situation on the discipline issue they had with the English winger. You know what happened, guys. Uh, Jadon Sancho was not selected for the arsenal May United game. Eric Ten Hag, after the game, mentioned that they were not happy with the level of Jadon Sancho in training. They always want uh, all the best from the players, not just on Saturday or Sunday, but also during the training sessions. And the answer from Jadon Sancho was public, was strong because Sancho with a statement on Twitter uh, replied by saying that there were different reasons that his attitude is always the best that he's always fighting for Man United so uh, a tense situation between Sancho and Eric Ten Hag Sancho and I'm told the whole coaching staff so it's not just about Ten Hag but the whole coaching staff then he deleted that post but the issue remains and now Sancho is not training with the squad. May United statement guarantees that he's training away on a personal uh, program. So, of course, he's at Carrington, but on a personal program, not training with the first squad while they try to find a solution. Let's see what's going to happen, guys. For sure, it's not an easy situation. But at the moment, still nothing resolved between Sancho and Eric Ten Hag. Uh, the feeling is that they will speak again. They will try to find a solution. But at the moment, still not training with the squad. So let's follow that Sancho story. Meanwhile, Manchester United keep working on the situation with uh, Anthony to find the solution. Also, in that case, waiting for the investigation. Also, important to say that, guys, things are still happening on the market because Turkish market is still open uh, and also the Qatari market is open. Marco Verratti is official to Al Arabi, 45 million euros. Paris Saint Germain already sold another player to a Qatari club and this Diallo for 15 million euros. So, 60 million euros package. But there is one more and this Julian Draxler, who is set to sign uh, Qatari side Al Ahli Sports Club. Also, in this case, is a permanent transfer. The fee is going to be around 15, 20 million euros. Still, some details to be clarified, but the player gave the green light. And so, for Julian Draxler, uh, is an important move in terms of money, also with the contract. But for Paris Saint Germain, it means 80 million euros potential package from Qatari clubs to PSG this summer for Verratti, for Draxler, and for Diallo. So, Draxler is the next one leaving Paris Saint Germain. Also, Michut is leaving PSG because the midfielder. Uh, who was at Sunderland, is now gone join Adana. Demirspor, he's already in Turkey with his agent, uh, is a loan deal with a buy option clause. So many players still leaving Paris Saint-Germain and this Qatari uh, story, uh, which is part of the summer transfer window for Paris Saint-Germain, part of the March-April transfer uh, window that doesn't exist, but is for the future, is for Chelsea, because what they did in March-April was to complete a deal to sign Kendry Pites. I still remember a lot of criticism around that deal, how you can sign a player born in 2007 for that money. But now the reality, guys, it is that on the international stage, we have two fantastic stars born in 2007. One is Lamy Yamal, who is already performing at fantastic level in Europe with Barcelona, with the Spanish national team. Incredible talent. And let me remind you that Lamy Yamal has already signed a new deal with Barcelona in July. So no worries, everything is fine with Lamy Yamal. But Chelsea are very happy with the deal they had with Kendry Pites. Pites made history again for Ecuador, the youngest player ever to play uh, in a South American uh, qualifying game for the World Cup. 
also an incredible talent who provided an assist because Kendry Pites is a very good player. Many clubs around Europe wanted him in January, in February, from May United to Bayer Leverkusen and many others. Chelsea were very fast. Chelsea closed the, deals, the deal also thanks to people from the board traveling to South America, reaching an agreement with Independiente del Valle, the Ecuadorian club of Kendry Pites, for a package which is going to be worth 20 million euros only in case all the clauses will be triggered in the future. So it's not 20 million euros guaranteed. This is linked to the performances of Kendry Pites at Chelsea. So one for the future, a fantastic talent, and Chelsea believe they got a proper gem in Kendry Pites with that silent deal that now becomes really interesting to follow. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on all these stories, of course, the Sancho bomb, but also Julian Draxler, PSG and Qatari, and this story for Kendry Pites. I wait for your comments here as always. Remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. See you soon with Fabrizio. Ciao!